Well, praise the Lord and good evening and welcome to the Encouraging Word broadcast tonight. And tonight we're going to be coming from the book of James, chapter 5. And before we do that, let's go to the Lord in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you and praise you for this evening. We thank you and praise you for uh, your word, Lord, and each one that's listening in tonight, Lord. We thank you that you hear our prayers and you do answer. And Lord, we give you thanks for that. We thank you so much for all the good that you do for us each and every day. And we just ask that your hand of mercy would be upon each and every one. That, Lord, you would touch and, and meet those needs, whether it be... Uh, whatever those needs are, whether people are, are you know, feeling stress and pressure of the day, or uh, if there's illness or sickness, if there if people need um, just encouragement today, Lord, I just pray that you would touch them and, and lift them up with your word tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, good evening again. And tonight um, we're coming from James chapter 5, looking at verses 16 through 18. Let's read them. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth her fruit. You know, this is uh, so uh, amazing tonight, you know, talking about confessing our faults one to another and praying for one another that you may be healed. You know, sometimes in, in our lives, and our walk as Christians, you know, there are um, areas of our lives that we need prayer. We need help, you know, and we know that we need help and we know that we need prayer and, and we need to reach out you know, whether, uh, you know, it be to a fellow brother or sister, to a, you know, to a, a, you know, a spouse, whatever that is, you know, if you are walking with the Lord and you see an area that you're weak in your life and you need prayer, then talk to, you know, talk to a brother, a trusted brother, or sister in the Lord to, to pray for you, to, to, uh, to encourage and to ask the Lord to, to strengthen you, you know, um, it, it it's very prideful to think that we're going to get through this on our own and and walk through this 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 uh life you know without any uh without anybody praying for us without any assistance we all need help we all need prayer we all need encouragement we all need correction we all need direction from the lord and and so you know we we have one another god has given us the holy spirit of course the comforter to come and to guide us and to and remind us of what the lord has said but he has given us even another treasure which is each other to be there for one another to pray for one another to encourage each other to intercede for one another sometimes you see a weakness in, the, in a brother or sister you know go to the lord and pray for them ask god to strengthen them that's not something for you to take and 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 uh, go and, and gossip about it no it's something that you need to take and pray and intercede for that brother or sister and ask god to strengthen them ask god to give them victory whatever that is and so you know this is how we can be there for each other and help each other and strengthen each other that's what we should do confess our faults one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. You know, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Remember that today, that you can go to God. You know, in this effectual fervent prayer, you know, it's just the example here was of Elijah praying that it wouldn't rain and it didn't uh, it rain for three years and six months and he prayed again and it rained. That's an example of what God can do with a person who is in prayer, you know, a fervent effectual fervent prayer you know getting to god and praying for the situations and circumstances you know the church we need to get to the lord we need to pray about this situation that's going on in the world today with with covid and and with all of the the fighting and fussing that you see going on out there in division and strife all of that Go to God in prayer. Go to the Lord and don't go to him in despair. Go to him in prayer. Pray and ask God to move in a powerful way in this nation, in in this, in not just this nation, you know, in the world. You know, ask the Lord to move in a powerful way to bring to bring his word to to make make it easy, not easy, but I'd say uh open paths for us to get the gospel out, you know. Um because there's a lot of resistance out there. It, yeah, it'd never be easy. Not, not at all. But it is worth it. And it is what we have to do. So, you know, 
we're pray to the Lord. Ask him for opportunities to get the gospel out. Ask him to, to help, you know, in the areas in your life that you are weak, you know, look to the Lord. He is strong. You know, I, I remember what Paul said, you know, that uh, like the thorn in the flesh that he suffered and he went to the Lord three times. And the Lord says that, you know, his strength is made perfect in his weakness because Paul wasn't depending on Paul. Paul was depending on the Lord. We have to depend on the Lord today. Depend on the Lord, but you're not in the battle alone. You're not by yourself. You have brothers and sisters in Christ who are there for you, who will pray for you, who will stand together with you in prayer, in, in trusting the Lord together with you. And that's what I want to tell you tonight. If you have prayer requests, if you need us to pray for you, you know, text us, you know, put, get those uh, prayer requests in. Let us know how we can pray for you, how we can go to the Lord and intercede for you because we're here for you. And it's just the same. I just pray that you would pray for the church today, that we would stand, that we would be representing Christ well, that we would run the race well, that we would stand in obedience to his word and, and, and not, and not be, um, hesitant at any opportunity to give the good news of the gospel, that we would be fervent in love one for another, that there would be no divisions within the, the body of Christ, but the body of Christ would come together around the word of God and prayer and look, seek the Lord's face. And remember, time is running out. We need to watch and pray and be ready. Jesus is coming soon. We, as a church, need to be doing the job that he sent us to do. Amen? while we yet have time. God bless you, and I pray that you are blessed tonight. Encouraging Word broadcast tomorrow night um, is Wednesday uh, night, and we have Bible study, so it'll be at 6 o'clock. And so I hope you can tune in at tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Again, remember, pray for one another. Confess your faults to one another and pray for one another. Don't forget that God answers prayer. God bless you. Love you. Pray for us. Amen. God bless. Have a blessed night in Jesus.